At first, you need to migrate inventory system to your project. Select Migrate option, click OK and select Content folder of your project. Let's create inputs. We need to add action mapping for quick slots. Open Player Controller, select Quick Slot Manager and check the settings. Action Mapping Name should be the same as in Project Settings. HUD widget is created in Player Controller on Begin Play. If you don't have your own HUD widget, you can use mine. Just replace references. If you have your own HUD widget, you need to copy all widgets from my HUD to your HUD. Also, we need to overwrite on draft function. On drop is triggered only if window is visible. Let's copy some logic from my player character to your player character. Copy managers. Copy scene capture component. Copy equipment mesh components. Adjust position. Also, we need to implement interface. Copy all logic from event graph. For demo content to work correctly, we need to copy some sockets from my player character skeleton to your player character skeleton. Check position for all sockets, especially for inactive bow and inactive shield. If you don't have player controller, just open game mode and set my player controller. If you have player controller, you need to copy all logic from my player controller to your player controller. Copy managers. Also, we need to implement interfaces.
copy two matrices and one function. Copy all logic from even the graph. Inputs can repeat your logic, so check it. Also, we need to copy logic for all gray interface functions. For saving and loading, I use game instance and save game classes. If you don't have your own classes, uh, just open project settings, maps and mods, and uh, set my game instance. If you have these classes, you need to copy all logic from my classes to your classes. Don't forget to implement interfaces in a game instance. I don't know how exactly you spawn AI to the world. I do this via spawner. With spawner I can spawn AI when I really need it. And I can correctly save all data. Let's create spawn point variable in your AI class. Enable options instance editable and expose on spawn. Replace references in spawn point.
copy interaction logic for parent AI. Make sure that the AI capsule collision blocks uh, trace responses by visibility channel. I use Raycast by this channel in player controller. Let's create child class Crafter. Copy all logic from my Crafter. AI data is set when you place spawn point on the scene. I have two merchant classes, merchant with global buyback slots and merchant with unique buyback slots. Let's create the same classes for your AI. and copy all logic from my merchant classes to your merchant classes. The same for warehouse, global warehouse and unique warehouse. Let's create the same classes for your AI. And copy all logic from my classes to your classes. I need to add loot manager to monster. Open my monster class. Copy loot manager.
implement interface copy logic for interface functions and the rewrite can interact function. Player cannot interact with monster. Then you can open my examples and decide how you want to give loot to player and copy the appropriate logic. I will use the first way. In this tutorial, my AI will be destroyed at once. For third way, you need to copy logic for can interact function. Let's check result. Open my demo scene, open world settings, and set your game mode. Also, we need to update reference to I for all spawn points. Of course, these meshes were created not for this character, so visual is not good, but it is not important for logic.